on July 5th last year. 13 months after, one of the students, Treasure Ayuba, is still with the kidnappers in spite of efforts to get him out of the forest. Trust TV's Abdul Aziz Abdul Aziz, who visited the family, reports on their anguish and hope in the midst of adversity. The report. This photo of Treasure Ayuba set tears rolling down the cheeks of his mother, Janet Peter. Janet last saw her only son on 3rd July 2021, a day after his 12th birthday, when she delivered his birthday cake to him in school. A day later, he and 120 of his schoolmates were abducted from Bethel Baptist High School, Kujama, in Kaduna State. For his family, treasure means not just another child. I miss so many things about treasure. That is why each time I look at his picture, it reminds me of so many things. The good memories we share. He was my helper. He's not just a boy. He personifies his name, Treasure. A visit to the Peter family in Mahuta in the outskirts of Kaduna by Trust TV freshens the wound the family has been nursing for over one year. Ayuba's grandmother, Mary Peter, recalls many efforts made by the family to get the teenager out of captivity and how they watched in agony as all his schoolmates were released. At another time, my son-in-law volunteered along with his friend to go and deliver the ransom. The two of them were held by the kidnappers. They demanded that I pay ransom too before they released them. What do I do when my in-law, someone else's children, are held captive? I had to sell other things and add to what his family raised. My brother and I went to pay and got them out. Before Treasure's abduction, his aunt Jennifer Peter was also kidnapped from the Federal School of Forestry, Apaka, and kept in custody for two months. The shock of what happened at the School of Forestry was still with us. My daughter was abducted from the school three weeks after her sister. Treasure's mother had sustained fracture from an accident. Mrs. Peter expresses anger over stigma and twisted narratives about the incident as she expresses hope of reuniting with her grandson. Those who spread falsehood and slander us and the little kid, instead of helping us with prayer, will be shamed. I have firm belief the boy will be back and the fruit will be known. For Janet, despite the passing days of month, she holds on to a wish for another opportunity to see her son. A wish, just one. My wish is for treasure to come back. And I know that is a wish for my family members. Treasure is someone that really cares about everybody in this house. In fact, most especially my mom, she's not finding it easy. Despite many broken promises by the abductors and epileptic communication between the two sides, the family says they are not giving up in the fight to get Treasure Ayuba back with them. For Trust Television, Abdulaziz Abdulaziz.